Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this. A hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm rests on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 45 degree to HP and the side on which it is it rests makes 30 degree with VP. Draw its projections. Now, according to the given conditions, one has to construct a hexagonal lamina for which one has to go for applications, macros, run macros, select inside polygon and then click on open. Then the flat length is supposed to be taken as 25 millimeter and then number of uh, sides are 6. Apply relationship, click anywhere on the screen so that an hexagon is going to be appeared. Once the hexagon is available, now it is resting on one of its sides. So this is a side resting lamina and place the side resting lamina as per the required condition below the XY line that is in HP. Then draw the respective projectors to draw the front view from each and every corner and after which using the line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter join the front view as a split line so that the split line is going to help us in the next stage to draw the projectors. Now make use of a uh, smart dimensions or distance between show that the size of the hexagon is 25 millimeter using the text command name the respective corners as a and this corner as b this corner as c this corner as d this corner as e and finally this corner as f and accordingly b dash a dash and then c dash f dash and then d dash and e dash now this completes the required first stage according to the given condition. Then the lamina makes 45 degree to HP. So one has to select the front view, then go to a move command, select B dash A dash as a reference, reposition it on the XY line at a convenient distance. Then make use of rotate command, select B as a reference point, then D as a rotating point. The angle of rotation is supposed to be taken as 45 degree because the lamina is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Then make use of angle between command show that this line is inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degree. Once it is done then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 start drawing the projectors from the respective corners especially from the right extreme corner and show that all the projectors will be drawn very easily. Now after which one has to complete the top view. Now the last final projectors are being drawn here and then make use of the text command name the respective corners and this corner can be named as A and this as B and this as C, this as D, this as E and this as F according to the projections what we have drawn. Then the line thickness change it to 0.2 one five sorry 0 0.5 millimeter then starting with a b c d e f back to a this completes the required construction as per the second stage conditions which are given in the question and the resting edge is inclined at 30 degree to vp now according to the figure the resting edge is going to be ba which is on 30 degree to x y line so make use of a line command with respect to 0.13 mm thickness so one can draw an inclined line and then uh, giving using the angle between command show that the angle between these two lines are supposed to be 30 degree now this uh, from top view has to be rotated in such a way that a b is on the 30 degree line now locate that a on the 30 degree line and then go for rotate and a as fixed B as rotating, B should be on the 30 degree line like this. Then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 starting with the right extreme corner. So start drawing the projectors that is F is going to be connected to F and then along with F we have C. So let us draw the projector of C also. Then the next one is E and D is there. So now E is going to be projected along with E we have to complete the projector of D and then A and D is to be projected till the XY line. 
so we shall project till the x y line and now this completes the required projectors then make use of a text command name the respective corners and this corner is named as a dash and this corner is named as b dash this corner will be c dash and this corner will be d dash and this corner will be e dash and this corner will be f dash according to the projectors we have drawn then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 mm complete the front view by joining all the respective corners properly using the respective commands and now one can say that the problem is completed as per the given conditions and if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me at this number and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and please do share this video to all your first year engineering students thank you very much for watching my video once again thank you guys